That emergency meeting of the CDC's advisory committee to discuss the issue of myocarditis cases is scheduled for tomorrow. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Hey there, Maryland. Happy Thursday. Cool and comfortable tonight with uh, very mild dew point values, mild temperatures as well, dropping off into the mid and upper 50s and the lower 60s across central Maryland. It's going to be feeling a tad bit cooler across our northwestern suburbs, uh, but all in all, not really a bad evening to head out on the back deck to have some dinner. Uh, temperatures tomorrow going to be a tad bit warmer than they were today. Today we hit a high of 80 degrees tomorrow, uh, right around average for some of us. 85 is our average high for this time of year. So we're mainly going to be in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow. It's going to make for a really nice pool day, uh, but the UV index though going to be at a level nine. So that's going to be pretty much on the higher side. Uh, so you want to make sure you are applying that SPF 30 because a sunburn could set in in about 15 to 25 minutes. Uh, and also if you want to head out on the bay tomorrow, not really a bad afternoon to do so. It's going to be dry, but the winds will be a little bit breezy, especially during the afternoon, increasing throughout the day out of the south southeast around 8 to 18 knots. And I know my dad really loves to take the boat out too. So just be mindful. There could be some choppy waves out there as you head out out and about. But into tomorrow, again, we are going to keep temperatures kind of around average for this time of year, but increasing to above normal uh, status heading into your Saturday. And starting off tomorrow morning, mainly dry with mostly sunny skies. That cloud cover increases throughout the afternoon, and then we'll start to welcome some of those showers and perhaps a rumble of thunder late Friday night into Saturday. And then a cold front will be slicing through the area heading into your Saturday afternoon, possibly dealing with the potential for a strong, isolated, severe thunderstorm with gusty winds and potential large sized hail being the biggest threats that we can expect. The good news though for Father's Day, celebrating dad, going to be mainly dry. So if you have any outdoor plans for Sunday, looking to be a go, but just make sure you're drinking plenty of water as both Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna be featuring highs in the lower 90s and dew points will be in the upper 60s and the lower 70s. It's going to feel very uncomfortable out there. Again, make sure to stay hydrated throughout the weekend. Heading into early next week, high temperatures right around 91 degrees with that chance for showers and then bringing back the potential for a few thunderstorms into two Tuesday afternoon with highs in the upper 80s and then less humid and more comfortable as we round out the work week.